Hello. Hi, is this Sean? Yes, it is. Hi, it's Jennifer. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. So, how you pronounce the company? Hookstra. Hookstra. Where are you guys located at? We are based out of uh, Kankakee, Illinois. It's about 60 miles south of Chicago. And we cover, like, the Midwest. So, we drive mostly in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. Okay, being that you guys is an Illinois company, there's a stigma going on. So I have to ask, uh, is this like an American-based company or a foreign-based company? We are a small family-owned company. We've been in business about 30 years. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just us. Oh, okay. But what stigma? This is the first I've heard. What stigma? Uh, well, majority of the Illinois companies, uh, we we have a same forum in a in a Facebook group. They call Black Ops Companies, and majority. And what that means is that it's a lot of foreigners, a lot of Russians, a lot of uh, a lot of out of you know out of country uh, carriers that operate out of Illinois. And particularly the Chicagoland area. Oh, well, that's news to me. <laughs> that's not us. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah so, we, I, 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 I pride myself into finding out all, all information as far as the industry goes because I run a Facebook group. Um, I'm also vast, you know. I'm also vast in uh, social media, so a lot of the, a lot of the drivers that I network with use my information as value. So, oh, um, okay. So yeah, like I said, it's usually a win-win for you know the companies that I talk to because a lot of companies that I talk to, and I pass the information on. Uh, maybe I say maybe. Four out of ten people usually, you know, give them a call and, you know, they jump on board with you guys. So that's what I pride myself into doing. Uh, nice. So basically, uh, the questions, you know, I just I, I just try to keep it simple. You know, I appreciate your time. And I, you know, again, uh, I try to keep it simple and not to take too much of your time. You know, I just want to get just the basis out there just to you know to get you know to get it out there to get people interested in it so that's why my questions is so you know it's so small so you know um it, it, is it better to answer it over the phone or is it better to answer it in an email so you know yeah i have i have an email that um that i can send you with a summary of the routes so it really is going to depend on the zip code of the driver, because we some areas we have local routes and some we have a dedicated where you'd be home every week. And the zip code that you gave me, it's a dedicated route. Mm -hmm. um, it does require that five and a half day availability, but um, the drivers tell us what two days they want off, and we work around that. Oh, okay, okay. All right, well, can you, can, can you uh, tell me a little bit more about the company and, and a little bit more on what you guys have to offer? Yeah, so we've been in business about 30 years. It's actually the um, company business. It's several generations. They started out um, hauling their potatoes from their potato farm, <laughs> and it grew into um, what we have today. And uh, we've got, um, you know, like I said, mostly the, the regional areas that we focus on. So we don't go further than like a 350-mile radius of Chicago, mm -hmm. and we're 60 miles south. So um, we're, you know, we're not like we're in downtown Chicago or anything. We mostly drive in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. Mm -hmm. And what we're known for is our safety, family, integrity, and teamwork. That's what we're focused on. We're, we're small. We're respectful. I'll, I'll guys stick around because of that. And we have a lot of bonuses that we offer throughout the year that's based on safety. So that's another uh, area of what keeps the drivers with us is because if they're driving and they're being safe, they're going to get rewarded for that. Okay, okay. Um, so what's being that, uh, that is re, uh, regional routes, what's the average, uh, what's the average miles that, uh, that drivers get there? Uh, I don't have that in front of me because it does vary, especially with like COVID last year and everything mm -hmm. <laughs> that really changed a little bit. But I know for like, for example, this dedicated route, um, we do a guarantee of 2,500 miles minimum. And then with that, that's what you know. They're that's the minimum that they get with the pay. So that comes down to like fourteen twenty-five gross weekly minimum. 
based on that five and a half day availability. Okay, so you guys pay you 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 guys pay per mile, or is it uh, for salary? this dedicated route? Yeah, for this dedicated route, it's going to be fifty seven cents per practical mile, which is door to door, and that's with that five and a half day availability. Okay. But there's the guarantee of a minimum of twenty five hundred miles. All so right. your minimum you'll make is seventy four thousand one hundred a year gross. Okay, so close to close to seventy five. Okay. Yeah, okay. as a minimum, you know, there's that chance to earn more because we've got the bonuses um, once different milestones or qualifying periods are met. But like the compliance bonus I talked about, that's every quarter. So as long as you don't have any disqualifying events, um, you earn more per miles with that. We also have an unlimited referral, and the longer you work with us you get $100 every year for that year you're in with us. So after your first year, you get $100. After your second year, you get 200 After your fifth year, you get 500 okay. And it just grows. Well, usually I don't, you know, usually I just I, I just tend to stay focused on uh, the, the practical of what I actually will make because, as you already said, you know, the other stuff is just considered as bonuses if you sure. hit a certain milestone or if you – or if you don't get a, you know, if you don't get a ding on your inspections and anything, any anything liable to happen. So I, I don't I don't tend to, you know, focus much on that, you know, as, as much as I focus on just the um, um, just the practical amount that I would get. And you say sure. and you say the average is about twenty five to twenty eight. Uh, about fourteen uh, gross. I'd say maybe about. Well, it's a guarantee of twenty five hundred miles. Oh, guarantee. guarantee. So it okay. won't be any. It won't be any less than that. Okay, mm-hmm. so guarantee about twenty five hundred miles. Uh, gross about fourteen hundred. Take home 14, about. Yeah. Yeah. Take home about depending on tax bracket, maybe about eleven hundred at the most. So that's that's what I tend to. That's what I tend to focus on. Um, how much driving experience do uh, do a driver need to come on with your company? Yeah, we need a minimum of two years of the Class A CDL. Mm-hmm. The, and on top on top of that, uh, I I forgot to meant, I forgot to ask um, what type of like what type of stuff do you guys haul? Do you guys haul like hoppers, drive ins, uh, flatbeds? We're all drive-in, and it's mostly grocery items. Um, there's no rail yards, no hazmat, live unloads, drop and hooks. Um, okay. And we have late model Peterbilt's or Freightliners and new trailers. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what type of benefits do you guys offer? And do you, do, have, and do the company pay? It depends. So we have Blue Cross Blue Shield. Mm-hmm. You'll be um, eligible for your health benefits the first of the month after 60 days. And we do pay 100% of the employee premium for the vision, dental, and life insurance. Oh, okay, okay. And then we do, you'll be eligible for a 401k or a Roth after six months. Okay. Uh, what about what, what about um, other company paid items like uh, detention pay, layover pay, vacation, and, um, and vac- um, holiday pay? So there's holiday pay, there's um, PTO. Uh, once you've you know been here long enough, we'll be eligible for that. Um, and usually we don't really fall into pension pay, um, but you know that's that's something that you know if if we run into it, yes. Okay, awesome. Um, of course, uh, five days on, two days off, and we and we can choose the two days that we want off. So say for example, if I want uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, would that be the, you know, come home Friday, off Saturday, and back on Monday? No, because with this route, you would need a five-and-a-half-day availability um, just to have to be available. It doesn't always mean you'll you'll be running, if that, if for your example, that doesn't mean you'd leave every Sunday, but some Sundays you would. Um, other days it might be a Monday, but you need to have that five-and-a-half-day availability. So basically um, it's a 34 reset. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, the equipment that you guys run and what is the uh, govern speed on them? Um, it's right around sixty-five, seventy, depending on the truck. Okay. And what's the equi- what's what's the equipment that you guys run? 
it's uh, either the late model Peterbilt or Freightliners. Okay. It's either going to be a 9 or 10 speed manual or 12 speed automatic. Okay, awesome. What about uh, what, what's what's the computer? Is it PeopleNet, OmniTrax, or Samsara? We we use PeopleNet. Okay, is the dispatch that comes through? Would it comes through via email or would it comes through through the PeopleNet? Um, usually it's phone calls, and then we put it through the PeopleNet. Oh, okay, awesome. Driver yeah. driver facing cameras. Um, the only cameras are out facing the road. Okay. Um, other than the regional lanes, uh, is there any other lanes that you guys run? Yeah, well, we call this, this would be a dedicated route because what's nice about it, it's one customer that you're dedicated to, um, okay. but the schedule on the route would vary. So it'd be the plant to the DC, the customer one day, and then that would change up a bit. Um, but it's that one customer that you're going to. Mm -hmm. And then depending on the locations, uh, we do have a, a regional route, um, that's would be you know several customers that you'll be working for, and it, it's run a little bit differently. And then again, depending on where you live, there might be a local route. So all it depends on your zip code and where you're living. All right, my uh, my bar is going up and down right now. So if I should lose you, I will call you right back. Um, let me see. Uh, what I asked already asked about the running lanes. Is is uh, can we take the trucks home? <laughs> Typically, no. Uh, we usually have lots, depending on our areas that we're in, that you would park at. Okay, so me being from Ohio, where would I be able to park at? Let me pull up my little map here, and I'll show you what we've got. So in Ohio, we've got a drop lot um, in Columbus and Frank Road, and then in the Cincinnati area over, there's a Penske, because we partner with Penske, over okay. in Monroe. So, in other words, me being from Cleveland, I would have to literally drive two hours to the drop lot in Columbus, pretty much. No, no, no. because we'll depending on where they live, we'll depend on where the driver lives. Okay. Um, th those are just the two that we have dedicated set already. But depending on the zip code where they live, um, we'll we'll partner with the driver to find where to park. Oh. Sometimes, as like I said, we have that partnership with Penske. So if there's a Penske nearby, we'll reach out to them and we'll get that parking situated. Um, we also partner with Pilot. So sometimes if there's a Pilot nearby, we can coordinate that as well. Um, I have some drivers who they've been driving their whole life. They, they know the area because that's where they live. <laughs> they've parked in places before. As long as that we get that cleared from our management team here, um, I've had that happen too. Oh, so. okay. All right. All right. Well, how, how, do, uh, how do we go by applying for the company? There is, uh, the, I'm not sure which ad you saw online, but there's um, information there on that ad where you can fill out either the short form or the app, the link of the application. Mm -hmm. Or if you're unsure where how to find that, just reach out to me and I can email you the link to apply. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, my email, I, you can go ahead and uh, send all that to me now and I will go Great. ahead and uh, and post, uh, post that as well. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, the email is lockoutmen, L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N, at gmail.com. All right, Sean, that is lockout, L-O-C-K-O-U-T, men, M-E-N, at gmail? Yes, and lockoutmen is all one word. Okay, perfect. Right. I will go ahead and put together a summary of what we talked about. I'll email that to you. I'm curious, like, is the group that you're a part of on Facebook, is it a public group or is it a private group? No, it's a, it's a, it's a public group. You can also find, you can also find me on, you can also find me on YouTube up under the Lockout Man podcast show. And you can, uh, and you can find me in other groups as well. I'm in a new driver, new CDL drivers group on Facebook, as well as uh, CDL driver drivers uh houston cdl drivers cleveland and cdl drivers uh georgia uh facebook groups oh nice so is that is that if your your main page on facebook is it lockout men is yeah, that it's, uh, was... yeah the main page is lockout men podcast on facebook okay awesome all right. I'm gonna have to look at that. <laughs> I, pre I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, is awesome. there is there a sign on bonus? 
We don't have a sign-on bonus. Um, what we do is we actually reward our current drivers. Um, we have Right now we're running a promotion where it's almost like a reverse sign-on bonus where they can earn up to $5,200 a year for referring new drivers. Um, that kind of helps, you know, um, reward the guys that are already with us and stay with us. Um, that's just a different approach that we're taking versus um, someone just being enticed by the money, so to speak. Okay, that's so, what's up. I, that's what's up. I was going to ask you, you know, if there wasn't no sign-on bonus, what do you guys do to retain, to retain the drivers? Yeah, and what's nice, too, is our building, we've been in this building about four years, and it, we remodeled all of it before we moved in. Um, it's state-of-the-art. We, it's 24-7 access for our drivers. There's a great room. There's a kitchen. There's, you know, you know like, grill bathroom. Yeah. I had a follower in my, in my group that wanted me to ask this question. Um, do you guys, like, you know, like uh, pilots, flying jays, uh, and – Petros and TAs, they have reserved, paid for reserved parking. Do you guys cover that for the drivers? Typically, yes. I haven't known a case where that hasn't been the case. But we try to, like I said, we try to work with our, our partnership with Penske first. That's mm -hmm. our first route. And then um, we work from there. No, 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 no. no. I mean pay for parking uh, for the drivers 10 hour, like when they have to when they have to do their 10 hour and they they go and pay for reserve parking usually it's, it's about 15 to 18 dollars uh for reserve parking do you guys cover that oh i'd have to ask i i don't know how i don't have the answer offhand honestly oh, okay. um i thought you meant like parking like when they're home oh long term park the truck oh okay well that that probably still might work in 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 it too so uh all right. Well, thank you, uh, Jennifer. I really do appreciate the time and uh, your candor and your uh, for uh, forwardness with uh, Hoostra, right? Yeah, Hookstra. Yeah, hook. think of like a hook hook that you hang your coat on. All right. Hookstra. Hookstra. Yeah, it's Dutch. It's okay. Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are you guys are located where? We're sixty miles south of Chicago. All right. And what's what's the city? Perp. Per, per room? We're we're in Kankakee. Oh, Kankakee. Okay. My my fo my phone line comes out from a different location just because we needed um we try to get the it's eight one five two B home because mm -hmm. focusing on getting our drivers home so that shows out of Peru but we're located in Kankakee Illinois. Kankakee. Okay. Uh, I uh, you know what? Last question. Sorry. Um, and this is like a running question. How long is the orientation? Uh, is the is the pre-employment uh, drug testing urine or hair follicles or both? And where do and do you guys cover for our travel expenses and hotel expenses when we come out to orientation? Sure. So our orientation is really quick. It's about two and a half to three days, and once you successfully complete it, you're paid five hundred dollars. You are assigned your truck during orientation. So after orientation, you're going to get your schedule and your route for the remainder of the week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do pay for you to get here, whether that's hotel, car, any of that. Mm -hmm. And then um, we do both a urine and a hair sample. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you're welcome, Sean. If you have any more questions, just um, text me, call me, and I'm going to send you an email. You can respond to that, too. And I'm probably going to check out your group on Facebook, if that's okay with you. I really appreciate that. You can also check me out on uh, YouTube as well. All right. We'll do. All right. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Bye-bye.